Yo guys, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, it's, your, it's your boy, only one naked. And you know, today I'm making a video on watch list. Yeah, I'm here with you guys. I'm here with you guys. I just had to check on something very quick. So I'm making a video on watch list today. Um, very, very important topic, you know. This will help you stay away from the noise that within the market. So if you're looking at my chart now, um, I'm having this on my trading view. Once you click on this stuff right here, you can see watch list. These are pairs where you can add watch lists. Um, how do you add this add them? You can actually search for them right here. Let's say once you add USD, JPY. Just have search for them and then we just have to add them um, to our watch list. Right? You can see your zip on our watch list. Why? Um, you know, these are pairs when you look, or you can add them from the chart. Click on option and then click on add to watch list. Right? Yeah, and then you add it to your watch list. Now, it's very important you have a watch list. Uh, why is that? Because you have to focus on some certain pairs. You know, you don't have to trade everything that is in the market okay you start to focus on oh these are the peers i want to be trading these are the peers i want to be looking at and you know it won't help you you won't be looking at noise everything you know when you're looking at everything you'll be focused you lose focus you end up making a wrong mistake okay so once focus on few is not all because less is more you have to focus on everything so what's this will help you um do that help you focus on peers you're only concerned about and you don't want it to for that place so it's very, very important you find that peer that works for you which peers work with your trading style so when you when you find out this is a particular peer that my strategy is always that always present my strategy always in the market so those are the peers i want to make it to your watch list and it's very important you have your top five now how do you go about making your watch list making your watch list you want to um do that during the weekend why because the market is closed there's lot of there's less noise there's less distraction just have to focus because the market will be stagnant during the weekend those are when you want to analyze and then you want to analyze as many peers as you can you know you can analyze like uh, let's say you can analyze like 10 peers you know or maybe more you can analyze like 20 currency peers and you know select the top 10 and within the top 10 you can do this over and over during the weekend people within the top 10 you can still select like oh these are like my top five okay or top six so you can have like five or six peers that you are looking at over the, the week you want to be trading for the week you want to be looking at setup that they have a nice structure then the particular place where you can take a nice trade from there and even with even on the top five you can still select like oh these are like my top two or top three inside you just want to tick on this right make them look different like oh these are the ones i'm looking more or these are like oh this will be the two i'm focusing on over the week okay so it's very important that you have a watch list just to eliminate noise you already forecast you already plan your trade ahead before the week starts so you don't have to look like oh somebody say a USG price is a buy, and then if you don't have that, because you have to trade your plan, plan your trade and trade your plan. At the end of the day, you don't have to focus on what other people are telling you or what naked is trading. This is your own trade, this is your own money. You want to put them in the market for things that you see that oh, these are my setup. They want to go for it. How this makes sense to you guys? So creating the watch is as simple as that. Starting from weekend, forecasting. You just have to forecast. Like if you want to forecast this much, you say, oh, you're looking for a buying opportunity at this level. That means you want to see a descending channel somewhere around here. And then you, if you want to take a risk entry, you want to take it with the one hour. You can also write how you want to look the trade idea. Oh, you want to let's say you want to say take buy. You know, using the frequency, using the one hour. So you can just write that the, on your chat. So you can, <laughs> let's see that. Ah, okay, so uh, you can do that on your chat as 
many times as you can. Just write them on, I don't know why it misses that name. You know, write it down here and it should just have to do. So anytime you open the chart, you go to your watch, you open it, but it's not there, it's not giving you what, how you want to execute it. But you can see you want to wait for a reduced entry, which is the first round after the impulse, and that's where you want to take it. So you've already forecast over the weekend. So it's on your watch list, and this is how it is on your watch list, exactly how you forecast the trade. So when you open your chart, if it's not giving you what you want, you just have to ignore and wait for markets to come to you because at the end of the day, you don't have to force this market. You don't have to chase all of this trade. You just have to trade your plan, okay? So forecasting will help you reduce the noise of looking at other currency pairs and just focusing on your own setup, okay? So you can add them right here on the watch list. I just show you guys how you can add them. which will help you guys a lot. I hope this makes sense. If you have more questions on watch list, if you have on Instagram, or message me on the group chat, okay? Take care, guys. Have a good day. Look at charm on the street.